think there's so much bounty here. And I would put the views of the Oregon coast here in Tillamook County on par with beaches anywhere in the world. As soon as we cut through and come out of the coast range and see the rock, there's this like decompression that happens. And I think a lot of people feel that when they come to the coast. Shannon and Sean Carlton's lives have unfolded around the wine industry. They built careers in Napa, met at a winery, and got married at a vineyard. And together they dreamed of someday making their own wine. We knew at the time that if we ever wanted to do our own thing in the Napa Valley it was going to require some serious financial backing. So when a job offer in Oregon came through, they thought this might be their big chance. Once we got here, we realized that this was the spot where we could actually follow our dream. Now they make wine in McMinnville, but have a tasting room here on the Oregon coast called Twist Wine. In McMinnville, there's a couple of hundred different opportunities to drink wine and taste wine within a 30 mile radius. Whereas here in Pacific City, which was a place we had fallen in love with, we were one of one. There was no competition. So we want people to come here, enjoy the beach, and come in and hang out and have a nice glass of wine, leave with a few bottles of wine to take home and share with their friends. One of my favorite pairings is the Dungeness Crab with our Chenin Blanc. It's got this sweetness to it. I've never tasted that anywhere else. It's it is absolutely incredible. And one of the best places on the coast to get Dungeness crab is just down the street. You're not gonna get a fresher piece of fish or crab. Dan and Tyler are the owners of West Fish Company. It's a small operation, but their reputation and business is growing quickly. Anything else to do? It seems surprising, but it can be difficult to find fresh caught fish on the coast. Recent years, you couldn't even get a piece of locally caught seafood in the town, because all the stores, they just kind of stock stuff from out of town, Alaska. And saw the opportunity, and here we are. We each bought dories and just started small and made some money, buy a crab permit, make some more money, buy a little bit bigger boat, and just kind of growing organically. Both fishermen have been holding down full-time day jobs as they grow their business, but hopefully not for long. I'm a contractor, Tyler's a tugboat captain. Fishing's a lot more fun than both of those, so <laughs> we know where we'll be in five years. Yeah, not doing that. They're up before daylight trying to catch crab, salmon, tuna, halibut, and rockfish. When one bites, the springs start pumping and you uh, pull them in with your hydraulics and then fight them by hand for, you got about three fathoms of a leader that you hand line them to the boat with and then gaff them. We're only fishing day fishing, so the fish we catch the, the previous day is getting sold here the next day, where it's a lot of bigger boats, they're out for several days at a time and it's could have been caught five or six days ago where our fish is in the case the day after it's caught and that makes the quality hard to match. Dan and Tyler are also proud to be carrying on the local tradition of dory boat fishing. Be 50, 100 commercial dory fishermen on the beach back in the 60s, 70s. It was really a, a boom town back then, but now there's about a handful. Most of the commercial fishermen are a lot older, so it's important to have uh, some people in the younger generation keeping it going. West Fish Company is filling a need for local seafood lovers and giving these men a purpose. It definitely feeds the soul. You don't wake up at three in the morning excited to go work construction, but uh, you do fishing. Up the road in Tillamook, another business is carrying on a tradition, but this tradition is hundreds of years old. Uh, the first time we tried some Belgian Lambic, which was our, is our biggest inspiration, that was kind of a light bulb moment because that beer tasted of a place, just like the best wine does, right? Like it has a foot planted in the soil uh, and there's a beauty in uh, something that's singular and not reproducible in any other way. Trevor Rogers is the owner of DeGarde Brewing in downtown Tillamook. They're a small business that has developed a big reputation among beer connoisseurs. I would say the majority of our customer base travels from outside the area and like we are the destination, like the reason they came to the Oregon coast or sometimes even Oregon itself. What makes DeGard so unique is the way they brew their beer with a process called spontaneous fermentation. We work strictly with native yeast and bacteria. 
um, just from the environment. Most breweries use cultured laboratory uh, propagated yeast. We use airborne. They also age their beer in oak barrels, sometimes for years. It's not just the process that creates the unique flavors, but the location as well. If we made the same beer in the same process with the same ingredients, even a few miles up or down the coast, and I can verify that having tried it, the beer ends up quite different. Uh, so we can very clearly and truly say that this beer is of a place and it's of Tillamook. When you visit the tap room, you'll be able to try a huge variety of flavors from wild summer berry to spruce tips. Yeah, this one's pretty ripe. There, there's a beautiful seasonality to the way we make beer. You can order a flight, a glass of wine, or buy a bottle to take home. Degard sells their beer in champagne bottles and it makes a great gift. I think that we make an incredibly unique artisan product. Um, it may not be for everybody, but our beer and our wine uh, are, I think, fantastic and not replicated exactly anywhere else they couldn't be because they speak very truly of where they're made at. Uh, and I think there's a beauty in that that's worth at least trying.